Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geek. Today we would be discussing the problem named as binary search tree to maxi. Now in this problem we are given a binary search tree. So before moving forward as we are given a binary search tree let us first understand what is binary search tree. Binary search tree is a tree where the nodes left is smaller than the node. So I can say that left is small than the root and right is greater than the root. Okay. And not only this, this two condition is valid for all the parent child relationship. So I can safely say that the left child is less than the parent and the right child is greater than the parent. Let us see this. So in this, suppose we are given four. So left side is four, two, which is small and the right side is six, which is large. Let us take one more random that is six. Yes, we can see that 5 is smaller than 6, which is the left side and 7 is greater than the 6, which is the right side. I can safely say this. Now let us try to move forward with this problem. So we are given a binary search tree and we need to convert it to a special max heap. What is a special max heap? Special max heap is a condition that all the values in the left subtree should be less than all the values in the right subtree. This is what is given. So to show you what is special max heap, an example of that is given at this side. Okay. All the values on the right is less than all the values. All the values on the left is smaller than the values on the right. This is what it should obey. And in this side also, like left side is smaller than right side and left side is smaller than right side. This should be valid for all this. So we are given the BST as 4, 2, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay. So we can say that we need to have this. So if you just observe this, then this is the type of this uh, type of values we want. So what we can do is we can just take out all the values from the given BST and we can store it in an array or a vector. For simplicity, we would just say that we would store all the elements in an array like we would have 4, 2, 6, 1, 3, 5, 7 and after that we would sort this. So we would get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we would just anyhow traverse it and we would get the values we would then sort it and then as we know that we can have this value in the given special max heap how because we know that the post order traversal of this is this so what we can do is while we are doing the post order traversal we can start assigning the values like post what is post order traversal post order traversal is nothing but left then we visit the right and then we visit the root itself. So this is what is post order. So if we do a post order traversal, first we would visit the left and the right and then we would give the root first value that we have taken out one. Then we would get the second value that is given out and we can do that. Okay. So let us talk about the time complexity also. So traversing, you can use any of the traversal. Traversal would take big O of N and then sorting the values would take n log n okay and then assigning it is also big o of n because for each node you would be assigning it only once okay so the, the upper bound is n log n so the time complexity would be n log n and the space complexity would be big o of n because you are storing each of the node itself okay so can we do better than this or not yes we can do better than this the first intuition is that if we were to take out the values from the given BST and we were to have this kind of thing, then why aren't we given a simple binary tree? Why are we given a BST? So whenever you see a BST, 
there is a very special property of BST that you need to remember whenever you solve a problem. The property is that the in order traversal, so I would just write it here, in order of BST produces or rather visits in sorted form. So how this is possible, I would just show you a very simple example. Now suppose we have, we have two, one and three. So if we do an in order traversal, then the left would be visited first. What is in order traversal? In order traversal is left, then we would have right, and then, then we, so in order traverse. So what is in order traversal? In order traversal is nothing but left, and then root and then write itself. So if we just see that first we would visit one, then we would visit two and then we would visit three. This is how it would work. And you can take a bit, little bit bigger example to have that value. So now we have this kind of structure. So now we know this. So what we can do is we can directly visit this and we can store the values. If we are directly visiting in sorted form, then this sorting thing would go away and the time complexity would become big O of n and the space complexity would also remain big O of n and this is the intended time complexity. Do I make sense? So now I would just sum up everything. Okay, we would do an in order traversal of a BST to get the nodes in the sorted form. Then we would insert each of the nodes that we are visiting in the order in a vector and after that point of time we would start inserting elements or rather modifying the elements in the given BST in the post order fashion to have the result in this manner. Okay, now let us move to the result. Now let us move to the implementation so that you would understand it in a much better way. So now what we need to do is we need to visit in order okay so we would just have in order and then we would take the node star root itself and then we would say that if root equals to equals to the null value then we would simply return from this position so now what is in order in order means first we would visit the left so in order root dash left then now it's point to visit the root itself so now we are visiting the root we would get the value so we would have here a vector int of the value so i would just have it as v itself and then i would simply insert it that is v dot push back the root dash data itself and then what we would do is we would then do a in order traversal of root dash right itself so now we have the result or the nodes in the sorted form in the vector v. Now what we would do is we would first call it in order of the root itself. By the way you can pass this by reference the vector itself but we can do it using the global space also so that we don't need to pass it again and again. Then what we need to do is we need to start assigning the values. So now before we assign the values I just want to talk about something. So we have the result in the sorted form okay like we have one two three four five the first thing we can do is we can have a pointer at the very first zero then we can move forward and have the hit here have it here have it here and have it here we can have that but what we can do is so that we have a smart implementation is that we would reverse the vector itself so we would have four five four three two one why we are doing this because accessing the last value in the vector and then popping it out is a constant operation. So we would try to move forward with this. So after we are done with the in order traversal, what we would do is we would just reverse it. V dot begin, V dot begin, comma, V dot end itself. We are done. Now we need to call the post order. So we would have void okay void post okay and then we would have node 
star star root itself we would have the same condition that if root equals to equals to the null value we would return from this position after that this is a post order traversal so we would first visit the left the right and then the root so we would have post order root dash left and then post order root dash right and then we would insert the value so we would say root dash data is equals to v dot back value and then we would just pop back the last value okay we have this let us see okay so we would have post order the root itself after this we would have this let us compile and run and see how many mistakes are we making okay we forgot at line number 113 okay let's compile and run again okay we are not making any mistakes now let us try to submit this and see and yes we have successfully done it now before i end the stream i want to optimize it a little bit further okay so to increase your knowledge and to give out more through this problem i told you about the pop back operation which can be done in constant time v dot back and pop back there is one more thing we can do instead of in order traversal if we do the reverse in order traversal we would get the sorted form in descending order okay so in order traversal is left and root then right in the same way i can first visit the root right then i can visit the root and then i can visit the left okay and this would provide me the result of like this of a tree like this okay this is left then root then right whenever you have confusion between in order and reverse in order or something visualize the tree with three nodes that is one two three and you would have your value so now what i would do is to optimize over this i would first visit the right i would visit the right and after that point of time i would then visit the left now we already have the given values in the reverse form so we would just comment this out let us just compile and run again and yes we are getting correct output let us try to submit this again and yes without even reversing we can print the values in the reversed form itself now if you were here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and commenting on the video so that the reach of this video could be increased Thank you and have a nice day.